medical fitness in Qatar. All you need to know. By the way, did you know anything about medical in Qatar? What are the requirements? If you are unfit for me, what happens? By the way, what are some of the diseases they do check for when you come to Qatar? Tune into this video until the end as we try to see what happens with the medicals in Qatar. Hi guys, thanks so much for coming back to this channel. And if this is your first time to come across with this channel, don't forget subscribe to this channel, support this channel by subscribing. Thank you so much for the returning subscribers. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Really appreciate it. For the new subscribers, thank you so much for supporting this channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about the medical fitness in Qatar. What is required of the medical fitness? What are the requirements? And what are some of the diseases that you test for in Qatar? By the way, in order for you to obtain a visa, come to work in Qatar. It may be in a kind of job, it may be a security job, it may be a cleaning job, it may be in the hospitality department. For all people that obtain what you call work visas to come and work in Qatar, they are supposed to go to under what you call the medical fitness. What do we know? In the simple terms, when we talk about the medical fitness, we are talking about the medical checkup. But remember, Medical fitness and medical checkup start right away from your home country. And most of the people are just very victims in these circumstances or in any circumstances in the world. Why? Because they've been forced out by the manpower companies with the medicals in their country. But what I have to let you know, guys, or what I have to let you know, that medicals in Qatar, they are very strict with medicals. What does it mean? If you find that you failed medicals in your country in a genuine way, please, you should better go for another option. That is what I have to advise you. Because remember, some recruiting agents or some recruiting manpowers may fall up in you. They may decide to forge for the medical. They end up eating your money or whatever input that you've injected in. So meaning that when you get to come into the country and you fail medicals, what will happen? Remember, when we talk about medicals, in order for you to obtain the visa, you must go under, you must undergo what you call the medical fitness. Remember, medicals here are very strict in one way or the other. For you to obtain what you call a residence permit, you need to have passed what you call a medical fitness. Let us try to see. By the way, did you know what they test for? Some of us may not know what kind of diseases are they looking for. We come from our own countries of origin. You're coming from Asia, you may be coming from Bangladesh, you may be coming from Nepal, you may be coming from Philippines, you may be coming from Africa, you may be coming from Ghana, you may be coming from Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania. But so long as you are under what you call a work visa, let's assure you must go under what you call the medical fitness. They will check. And some of the diseases they do check for, for your information, they do check for hepatitis, B and C tests. You must undergo that test. You must undergo what you call a hepatitis medical test. You should also, they check what you call the chest x-ray test. They need to check what is your fitness of your chest. Do you have any disease? Are you fit for that work that you're going to do? Because remember, some of these diseases we are talking about, they may not be here in this country, but they are out there in our countries of origin. So they cannot risk to allow you to come to work or to give you what you call a residence fund in case you don't pass the medicals. So if you have a chest problem, if you might have get a, got an accident in some way or the other, this is for the time for you to be very careful as you are planning, you're looking for a job in Qatar. 
because they're very strict. That's what I have to let you know. Still, they'll also look for what you call syphilis. They will take what you call the syphilis test. When we talk about syphilis, we are talking about, you know, the sexually transmitted diseases. This is what I'm talking about. They are going to take that test. And if they need to find out that you have, definitely one of the requirements they will require of you is to get back to your country. They are also going to test for AIDS, HIV, and test is one of the diseases that is being tested. Most of the people underestimate it in one way or the other, but they do test this, and it's one of the requirements. You know, it may be in one of other countries, but it may not be very easy to treat in this country. So they tend to dislodge off another person who is found having it. Yes. Might have someone may come on to just push at me and say one way or the other, I, I may go through because of this, but I'm, I'm just letting you know that they do test for it. So, meaning that for you to come, for you to come and have your work, this, you must be very prepared in one way or the other that you will get through this, all these tests that for you to have that raises one. Remember, something that I need to warn you or something that I need to alert you or let you know. Yes, we come to look for jobs in these kind of countries. But what happens for your employer, it does not cost him or her or that company. It does not cost that company anything for you to return you back to your country of origin. He does not care how much you pay the manpower. He does not care how much you use to get your passport in your country. He does not care how much cost or how much input you got into that manpower or recruiting agents. Because one of the requirements for the recruiting agents, they must make sure your medicals are fit for you to come in this country. What happens exactly? If you fail the medicals, surely speaking, the only option you have when you fail medical, it will be just deportation back to your country. Because you are proving unfit for the job and you are proving unfit to be in the population. Remember, we talk about diseases like the tuberculosis. We might have heard it from our countries of origin and we might not get it here. So remember, they are a little bit very strict with it because it will incur a lot of medical insurance for you to get treated with it. What they have to do to get rid of that, that means your employer or your company will have to send you back to your country. So, what I have to let you know, what I have to let you know, guys who are coming from wherever you are coming from, please make sure if you are supposed to do your medicals yourself, Please go to that hospital in your host country, do the medicals, find out your status before you get to home. Otherwise, you will get disappointed with how much money you get to put in these manpower companies. Because they will, not, they, will, they will not let you, they will not let miss out that opportunity. They will tell you it's okay, it's okay, you go. But what does it cost for you to come in the country and just after one month or two months after your medical, you are taken back? So that means you've missed out to the money. You've missed out to whatever cost or whatever input you put in that manpower company that would make me just to come for this job. So you better be very careful as you try to search for this greener or better opportunities. Medicals are very important. Medical fitness are very important. So what happens if you are unfit? You will definitely be deported back to your country of origin if you are unfit. For the medicals and again another question may come in what will happen if i pass the medicals that is good news for you because it's all what your employer or the company that has given you the work visa needs to see they need to know that the person we have recruited is a is fit for the job is fit to be in the population is fit to be on that work Apart from the other requirements, we may look about the skill, uh, the job, the job skill, the education, but also medical is very important. So once you pass your medicals here, you will proceed to what we call the fingerprints.
automatically, when you pass the medical syndicate, the systems are so organized that the results will just be sent directly to the ministry that is responsible for the fingerprints. You only have to go there with the appointment and they will take your fingerprints. And remember, good news for guys that have taken the fingerprints. Once you are being called for the fingerprints, that means you already have the residence permit with you. And remember, in this country for you to survive, you need to have what you call a residence permit. A residence permit we're talking about is what you call the residence card ID that you're supposed to have. Because it's the only card that's going to prove to them that you are eligible to work in this country. So, I hope guys will try to pick out something. So, remember, few points to note. Once you feel your medicals are not fit, please better not waste your money in the recruitment agents because you will get disappointed. There is no virtue of saying, yes, go to protect you. But first of all, see what you put in the manpower for that recruitment agents. Remember, these are also companies that are doing business. They will never let you know the truth. They will never let you know. Because they want to get that money out of you. They need to get that money out of you. It may be 4,000, it may be 4,000 Qatarian, it may be 3,000, whatever kind of money. They will take that money out of you. They will take you again with the fake results. But when you get into the country, when you go for the real results, and they prove to be what you what, different from a way that you provided or a way from you provide they will definitely have to report you back to your country i hope we've tried to share some by the way don't forget to share such kind of information to our friends brothers and sisters let us try to share this information and still don't forget to put a comment in the comment section i'll always be more than happy to get back to you Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Thank you so much for tuning in to this channel. Thank you so much for watching videos to this channel. And if you the first time to come across this channel, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and watch at least two minutes of your time to this channel. Thank you so much. See you again as we try to discuss other issues or other related things regarding medicals. Remember, it is made from the next creation. See you again in the next video.